The slice in tennis is often used as a defensive shot, as it neutralises an attacking ground stroke or serve. Not only is the slice easier to execute on the stretch, but the nature of its underspin holds the ball in the air, giving the user vital time to both recover and reposition. But it's also used by many in an attacking sense, or a building sense to set up the point. Take Ashley Barty, the WTA world number one. Her backhand slice has been fundamental to her success, and this is also true in the case of Italian Matteo Berrettini. Nicknamed the Hammer because of his huge forehand, Matteo Berrettini had a stellar 2021, finishing the year as the ATP world number seven, a career high. In the British summer, he won on the grass of Queens before reaching his first Grand Slam final on the hallowed grass of SW19. And it was during the grass court season that many observers realized the potency of his backhand slice. With a huge serve and a powerful forehand, the Berrettini backhand was always going to be the point of attack for opponents, but instead they found a trap. The Italian slice bites the ball, sending it zipping through the court, making it very hard for opponents to attack. After the bounce, the ball stays low, significantly below the net's height, forcing opponents to play with more height and spin. Doing so allows Berrettini time to get his forehand into play. And it's this sequence that is key to Berrettini's and indeed Barty's success. It's no surprise that in 2021, both players' best results came on the grass, where the softer surface accentuates the effect of an already deadly slice. In dictating a point, one must control several variables, base, time and speed. Berrettini and Barty's slice execution allows them to control all three variables simultaneously, whilst employing the mindset that the slice is not simply a defensive shot, but rather a counter-attacking one. Digging deeper, we compared both players' backhand slice locations to the rest of the tour. In this instance, we've interpreted a cross-court slice as one that's trajectory would dissect the singles lines. On the men's side, Berrettini's backhand slice dissects the singles lines an impressive 56% of the time. That's 8% more than the average player on the ATP Tour. On the other hand, Barty Slice dissects the singles lines 5% less than the WTA Tour average, opting instead to keep her slice more central. So what is the reasoning for their shot selection? On the men's tour, a higher percentage of players opt to hit a forehand from the backhand wing. So Berrettini's backhand cross-court slice must be accurate to force a weak reply. If he executes successfully, he can then dictate the point once more with his forehand. Barty's motivation, however, is to entice players to run around their backhand by placing her slice more centrally, thus creating space on the court that she can then exploit. A default defensive slice would go deep and cross-court, but instead both players opt for variety and guise. Both Berrettini and Barty execute their strategies differently, still their motivation is always the same, to entice and entrap their opponents into playing the ball where they want it, turning the balance of the point in their favour all with a well-placed counter-punching slice.